Well, Laura, the principal here at Mark Twain Elementary had to shift plans around 6 o'clock this morning when she learned she didn't have power this morning. So the plan was to bring kids over to Wyandotte High School, put them in the auditorium for the morning. And then about midday, they got pretty good news. On this last school day before holiday break, we saw 220 kids from Mark Twain Elementary on their last legs of an impromptu field trip. And the kids just went along with it. Principal the Sandra Gini's 5 to 11 year olds had to become high schoolers for a few hours. That's because their elementary school had no power. We were making a plan that if we needed to be in Wyandotte High School all day, we would have stayed here all day. Thankfully, they didn't need to as power came back midday. Crews were also busy outside Norfleet Elementary in Raytown, one of two schools in that district canceling classes, along with two in Kansas City, Missouri public schools, too. Last night's weather event was a true first experience for me. Back in KCK as those kids return back to their elementary school. This may become a tradition where they come over for a Christmas movie on their last day. A day they won't soon forget. We made a positive experience today for students, and that's what it's all about. In fact, a teacher here at Mark Twain Elementary just drove by, said they had a great rest of the day once those kids got back to class. We're continuing to check with Raytown and Kansas City, Missouri Public Schools to see what their plans are for tomorrow. Live in KCK, Matt Fleener, KNBC 9 News.